Hello boys and girls! Today's craft is we're going to be decorating stones. The reason we chose for this craft is because the stone symbolises the stone that was in front of Jesus' tomb that was rolled away. All you'll need for this are some stones and then anything you really want to decorate it. I'd recommend paint, pens, paper, old newspapers, magazines, glue and nail polish. Nail polish I'd recommend is because you want to maybe, if you're putting your stone outside, is to maybe just give it an extra bit of coverage so that it stays protected. But you can really use anything. I think PVA glue might work. Really anything. Um, we hope you enjoy this craft and now I'm going to show you a few examples of this and explain to you how I did them so that you can have some inspiration. Let's get into seeing it! Okay boys and girls, so now I'm going to show you a few examples that I have done. So because it is Palm Sunday, I thought I'd show you this one first. So this one is, um, we just used really foam paper, uh, craft paper, and we cut out some shapes that look like palm palm leaves and then we wrote Hosanna on a piece of white paper and we stuck it on. This one probably wouldn't last outside so I'd recommend you leave this one inside or somewhere that is sheltered outside. The next one is what we celebrate on Good Friday and that is when Jesus died on the cross for us so obviously I was going to do the crosses on the hill. For the hill I used green paint and I used black sharpie for the crosses because black sharpie is waterproof so black sharpie or any colours of sharpie would be a great one to do your whole thing in if you had it because it is waterproof. Then we have this one which is a little bit different. All I did was I cut out some um, letters from the newspaper to spell it he is risen and stuck this on with PVA glue. Um, it's a bit different because obviously it is with letters from a newspaper, sorry. And then we have this one which celebrates just how great it is what Jesus and God did for us when they died on the cross. And as you can see we used gold paint for the sun and we wrote rejoice with black sharpie. And the final one is one that my sister very kindly did for me and it was Faith Can Move Mountains and she drew little mountains for us. All we used again was Sharpie and we also used chalk pen on this one. So boys and girls, all of these stones can actually stand up. That's how we'd like you to display them. It would even be nice if you displayed them in maybe a park somewhere or something so that you can spread the good news. I really enjoyed that craft and I hope that you will too. So boys and girls, we hope you'll get involved with this craft this week and we hope that you have a lovely Easter and we'll see you all soon. Bye!